Ever tried to run a virtual lab with Kali, a Windows victim machine, and your host OS, only to have your laptop grind to a screeching halt? Or maybe you've tried to crack a password hash and realized it would take until the next ice age? Yeah, ethical hacking demands a specific kind of digital crowbar. Powerful, versatile, and absolutely reliable. Hey everyone, welcome back to Laptops Lab. Today, we're deploying our weekend tools and identifying the absolute best laptops perfectly. Suited for ethical hacking, penetration testing, and cybersecurity research. We're talking machines ready to handle intense virtualization, run resource-hungry tools, accelerate password cracking, and stay discreet on a physical engagement. Ready to pseudo apt upgrade your entire setup. Smash the like button if you've ever been defeated by low RAM. Subscribe for more security deep dives and enable all notifications. Let's preach this topic. All right, launching our initial payload. The number one is the Enterprise Class Field Agent, the Dell Latitude 7440. Why a latitude? As a discreet, professional business laptop with excellent build quality, great Linux compatibility potential and focuses on reliability. How valuable is blending in during a physical engagement instead of using a flashy gaming rig? It can be configured with capable Intel Core U or P-Series processors. Up to 64 gigabytes of user upgradable RAM fantastic for vMiz and a fast NVMe SSD. Crucially, business laptops like this often have solid port selection, including Ethernet and their components are well supported by mainstream Linux kernels. Just be aware that its integrated graphics mean you won't be doing any serious password. Cracking. This is purely for analysis, recon, and running tools. The number two is our brute force cracking station, the HP Victus 16. When you need raw GPU power for Hashcat without spending a fortune, the Victus delivers incredible value, packing a powerful, Intel Core H series or AMD HS series CPU and a potent NVIDIA GeForce or TX40 series GPU. Like the 4060 or 4070, it's built to run hot and fast. How many hours could you save on a password audit with a modern RTX card? It comes with 16 gigabytes of upgradable to 5 RAM and a fast NVMe SSD. The 16.1 inch screen gives you a large workspace. For managing cracking sessions, the trade-off is it's bulky. Size, loud fans under load, and a distinct gamer design. But for pure price to performance for GPU tasks, it's a beast. The number three offers a fantastic blend of a large screen and versatile power. The HP Envy 16. This machine strikes a perfect balance between a sleek, professional aesthetic and serious hardware. You can configure it with a strong Intel Core i7 or i9H series CPU, 16 gigabytes or 30 gigabytes of RAM, and crucially, a dedicated NVIDIA or TX4060 GPU. This makes it a true jack of all trades, capable of smooth virtualization and efficient password cracking. The large, high resolution 16 inch display is gorgeous for long analysis sessions. A key consideration is that its cooling isn't as robust as a full-on gaming laptop, so sustained. Heavy GPU loads might see some thermal throttling. It's the perfect choice for the pen tester who needs to look sharp in a boardroom and crack hashes after hours. The number for champions is the open source spirit with guaranteed compatibility. The system. 76 Pangolin. Want a laptop that is guaranteed to run Linux flawlessly because it was built for it. System76 machines come with Linux pre-installed POP, underscore OS or Ubuntu, and feature components chosen for compatibility. The Pangolin is powered by a potent AMD Ryzen 7 processor with strong integrated Radeon graphics. Its firmware is open source System76 open firmware with core boot, which is a huge plus for the security conscious. How much time? and frustration. Could you say by never having to troubleshoot a Wi-Fi or audio driver on Linux again? While you won't get NVIDIA GPU power here, you're buying a seamless, stable, and open Linux experience. 
Number five is the sleek and stylish sleeper agent, the Asus ZenBook Pro 14 Old. This laptop looks like a premium ultrabook, but it's hiding serious power. It can be configured with a potent Intel Core i9H series processor and even an NVIDIA or TX4060 or 4070 GPU, making it a monster for both CPU and GPU tasks in an incredibly compact chassis. The old display is stunningly sharp, perfect for staring at tiny text in terminal windows for hours. How useful is having a lightweight laptop that can discreetly handle heavy cracking jobs? The main caveat is that its thin design means thermal. Headroom is limited, so performance on long tasks might be less sustained than a thicker machine. It's the ultimate portable powerhouse for the undercover pro. Number six is the Macos option. With important security focus caveats, the Apple MacBook Pro 14 M3 Pro chip. The M3 Pro chip is incredibly fast and efficient and the Unix Lite. MACOS is a comfortable environment for many. The machine is stable, has epic battery life, and a phenomenal display. But, and this is a big but for Kali users, the built-in Wi-Fi card does not support monitor mode or packet injection. You absolutely will need external USB Wi-Fi adapters like Alpha cards for wireless penisting. Furthermore, virtualization is limited to ARM-based vMIS like ARM Kali running natively. x86 malware analysis requires slower emulation. If your work is primarily web app testing or coding and you're prepared to live the dongle life, for Wi-Fi attacks, it's a superb machine. Number 7 is the affordable gaming laptop that gets you in the game. The Acer Nitro 5, a perennial favorite. For budget performance, you can find Nitro 5 models with capable Intel Core i5H series CPS and, crucially, an NVIDIA or TX 3050T or RTX 4050 GPU. This provides a massive leap in capability over any integrated graphics for GPU accelerated tools. How much of an advantage is it to learn password cracking on a dedicated GPU versus just a CPU? It features upgradable RAM and storage, allowing you to start with 8GB or 16GB and expand later. The build is bulky plastic and the fans can get loud, but it delivers the essential hardware for learning resource-intensive skills without the premium. Price tag. Number 8 is another versatile choice with a great keyboard and 2-in-1 flexibility. The Lenovo Yoga 7i 16-inch. While not a cracking powerhouse, its strong Intel Core Ultra or P-Series processors and support for up to 16 gigabytes RAM make it a capable machine for running a couple of vMIS, network scanning, and extensive research and reporting. The legendary Lenovo keyboard comfort is a huge plus for long typing sessions. The key feature is its versatility. The 360 degree hinge and touchscreen are fantastic for presenting findings to clients or for more. Casual use, are you a pen tester? Who also writes detailed reports and gives presentations often? This machine bridges that gap perfectly dot so. What are the critical exploits needed for a great ethical hacking laptop? RAM is king 16 gigabytes minimum, 30 to gigabytes plus highly recommended. Check up great ability. A strong multi-core CPU. A powerful NVIDIA GPU for password cracking is a massive advantage. Fast NVMe SSD storage 512 gigabytes minimum. And most importantly, a plan for WI fee based. Attacks either a known compatible internal card or more reliably. High quality external USB adapters. A great keyboard and good port selection are essential quality of life features. Choosing the right laptop is like picking the right exploit. It must be perfectly suited for the target and the objective. Hopefully, this detailed recon report helps you select the perfect machine for your cybersecurity journey. Which of these laptops would you choose for your digital toolkit? Or are you running a different rig that gives you an edge? Share your setup and favorite Wi-Fi adapters in the comments. If this intel helped you, please execute like dot run subscribe.bin and hit the notification bell, sharing this with fellow.
Cyber enthusiasts is always good practice. Thanks for watching. Stay ethical, keep learning, and I'll see you on the net.